This is Aaron from anetservices.biz. I'm going to show you how to install OWA Open Web Analytics web statistics software, which is similar to Google Analytics and TraceWatch. First thing you want to do is download it from downloads.webanalytics.com. I have it downloaded. I downloaded OWA 1.5.4 which is a tar file then you want to uncompress it since it's a tar file on Linux it's pretty easy it uncompresses an OWA file actually a folder with the install files then you want to upload it to your web server I'm using GFTP to FTP that folder to my web server takes about 10 to 15 seconds to upload I'm uploading it to my web root your installation might vary and it's completed uploading then you want to create a database so I'm going to create a second OWA database. Click on databases in PHP my admin, my admin S, MySQL. You name your database and click create. Database is created with no tables. Then you go to privileges. So you go back to home and PHP my admin click on pri privileges choose an already configured already set up MySQL username with the password where it says add privileges on the following database you choose your OWA database that you created I check all and then I uncheck grant then I click go so your privileges have been given to that MySQL username with a password now you go to install it depending on where you uploaded the OWA install files it will be your domain.com slash OWA OWA2 slash install.php again the folder the go to folder depends on where you upload those files you click enter in your web browser you get to the welcome to the installer click on let's get started you are at configuration settings you want to put your URL of where your OWA files are located. In my case, it's anetcomputers.com slash OWA2. Database type is MySQL. Database host is localhost if OWA install is on the same physical server as websites that you are wanting to track. Type in database name. A database user. And a database password. click on continue oops there we go default site and user information site domain is the domain that you're tracking you're setting up your first website that you want to track web traffic website visitor traffic with open web analytics my domain will be www.anetcomputers.com
you enter in an email address in case you forget your password also you can get reports sent to that same email address now your password is going to actually be for your admin login so you're setting your admin login password right now that you use to log into the, the back end of Open Web Analytics. You click on continue. Success, that's it. Installation is complete. Open Web Analytics has been successfully installed. Log in using the username and password below and generate a tracker. So there it shows you your admin username and admin password that you just set. So click on login and generate site tracker. You log in with admin. And a password that you just set. Now you logged in the first time. So now you can copy and paste your tracking tag. It's just code that you put in to your website. I have PHP and MySQL, so I'm going to use PHP tracking code or tracking tag. It's up to you what you use. It depends on how your website and web server is configured. So you just highlight the code if you're on Linux like I am. I'm already logged in to SSH and to the root of my website. I'm going to edit the index.php file in WordPress. Again, it depends on how your website and web server is configured, what C content management system you are using. I'm using WordPress. All you have to do is copy and paste that tracking tag into the index.php file on WordPress, and I'm using VI Editor. I wrote to the file, I exited, and now I go back to testing my website. I just added the tracking code, and now I'm going to test it. I'm testing my main website domain, anetcomputers.com. Let me click on one more page to make sure that the tracking software doesn't conflict with my website, and it's not. And to make sure permalinks work. So you notice that there's four general categories. There are main configuration, user management, track sites, and modules. I'm going to go over these really quick. Modules gives me a blank page. I'm not sure why. Other than that, I haven't had any problems with Open Web Analytics. It might just be my configure my setup of my web server. So then you go to tracked sites. And there you have it. It's tracking three visits, four page views, and my anetcomputers.com that I just installed OWA Open Web Analytics. I click on view reports and it's already tracking statistics. You scroll down and it tells you a little bit more details so I know it's working. So if you go back to the dash panel, there's also main configuration which I won't go into great detail, maybe in a future how to. It just there's certain options for how O OWA tracks your website traffic. If you go to user management, there's already the admin, which was that admin account that you created during install. You can add additional users. Let's say you want to have another user have access, but you don't want them to have the main admin account. You create them there. And then again, the tracking sites. 
you can add additional websites that you want to track with open web analytics let's say you want to track multiple websites but I won't go over that now maybe on a future how to so there you have it I showed you how to install web analytics set up a MySQL database copy the tracking tag code put it into the WordPress index.php and then test it and that's about a 10 minute install for open web analytics again my name is Aaron from anetservices.biz I hope this helped you if you have any comments or questions leave them on my YouTube video for this tutorial you can browse to anetservices.biz for most common computer problems and tutor and how to tutorials see you next time